So AI Blur essentially is again an acronym, uh, BLUR. B stands for boundaryless data. That's the input to the entire system. Today, think about your organization. You will have data sitting in different places. They are not centralized, most likely. We always have, you know, dealing with gaps. So that is the first thing that needs to be fixed before we can get into any serious AI. L in uh, AI Blur is learning models. Today you've got a laundry list of models. You can build your own AI recogn uh, recognition algorithm. So this thing happens in our families, right? A new baby is born. Does a baby resemble the mother or the father? There's a debate around it. You can build an AI algorithm today as you don't have to be a data scientist or anything. You can do it today, right? So that's learning models, a very, very important component of uh, AI. U is unlocking value. So the first two elements are more technical in nature. Yes, I have access to data. I have access to learning models, but decision making around the output you get, that's a whole new ball game. So how do you unlock value in other words? And R in the end is an important element as well. That's called responsible outcomes. So that goes back to deep fakes, that goes back to the intention behind why are you doing what you're doing with AI. For example, if you have some money to invest and you have an AI led investment manager for yourself, your own personal investment manager, and you say, get me 25% returns on my investment. And it's assumed that this algorithm figures out that different stocks often reliably give you 25%. I'm just making this up. So let's assume that's the case. And when do defense stocks go up? When there's a war. war. Now today, is it conceivable that AI can start a war? Yes, Absolutely yes. We've seen governments falling down because of social media and AI activity through fake news again. Right, so when that's a scenario, yes, your 25% returns will be guaranteed. But at what cost? What is the moral compass behind all of this? So that's the responsible outcomes part of AI, right? So there is a need for fairness. There is a need for de-biasing AI. There is a need for making it transparent in a way that you can explain what AI is doing. That's an important element in any AI implementation. The human cannot explain what the AI machine is doing. That's dangerous.